Hi there. Today we're going to show you some insight into the curtain wall tool. And we're going to work in 3D right out of the gate. First thing I'm going to do is going to rotate to a position that's better suited to what I want to see. And then I'm going to double click on the conier wall style that we've already created. I'm going to gesture along the edge of the main floor where I want to start and then move my cursor up to the outside edge of the slab above. Once that's lined up, I'm going to click once to begin the wall. And I'm going to slide my cursor along and hold down the shift key and gesture over the other corner of the slab above. Slide down to the edge of the wall and move back to get the corner. Click once to create the corner. Slide over to the adjacent wall. Double click the end. Now that I have my walls drawn, I have the opportunity to adjust the grid layout of the curtain wall. To do so, I'm going to switch to a side view, zoom in a little bit, and when I double click on the wall, I have the opportunity to select the move grid mode. I can select one of the members, snap to it, double click to select that section, slide it over to a desired point, single click to let go. There you can see the grid adjusts. Now I want to adjust the curtain wall on the other side. I'm just going to change my view to isometric and you can see I've got an opening in the slab above and I'd like the vertical members of this curtain wall to align with the slab edge. I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to double click on the wall again and it remembers that I've got the move grid mode still engaged. I'm going to click once at the end point of one of the vertical members and then I'm going to gesture over the corner of the slab edge opening, get an extension line, click once and you'll see the frame aligns. Let's have a quick look at the front view, zoom out and I've got my vertical members aligned quite nicely. Now that I've got the grid aligned the way I want it to, I'm going to do a little cleanup at the corner condition of the curtain wall. You can see there's a bit of a log jam here in vertical components, so I'm going to clean them up. To do so, double click on the wall, select the select frame mode, and then gesture over the components that you want to edit. I'm going to click this one, hit delete, Select another one and delete. Select that one and delete. There, nice clean butted glazed condition. Now that I've got the curtain wall grid layout and the corner condition the way I wanted them, I can just go ahead and duplicate those curtain walls and move them to different layers. This way, the continuity of the vertical frame members is the same from bottom to top of the building. Now I need to insert a door into my curtain wall. To do so, I'm going to go to the resource browser and double click on the doors folder within the symbols folder. In here, I've already got a door red symbol that I've already created in 3D. I'm going to double click on it and I'm going to gesture along the wall that I want to insert the door into. So I'm going to insert it into the midpoint between these two vertical members I'm going to click once to set its position, click again to set the swing direction, and the door gets inserted properly. Now I need a convenient way to convert some of these glazing panels to spandrel panels in order to cover up the floor assembly that's visible through the glass. I'm just going to pan into a better position, double click on the curtain wall, ensure that the select panel mode is selected and then by crossing select the panels I want to convert. Now I right click over one of the highlighted panels, click edit panels, change the type from glazing to spandrel, change the panel class from wall component curtain wall glass to curtain wall spandrel, click OK and there. Panels converted from glazing to spandrel. You can see that we've gone ahead and converted the glazed panels to spandrel panels where 
floor and ceiling assemblies occur. What if someone inserted a partition wall that butted up against the curtain wall? Well, the same methodology applies. Just double click on the curtain wall, highlight the panels, right click, edit panels, convert to spandrel, convert the class to a spandrel class, click OK. Inserting windows into a curtain wall system is very similar to the insertion of spandrel panels. Double click on a curtain wall, ensure you have select panel mode selected, select the desired panel, then right click and insert window. You'll notice in this next 3D view that the windows we've just inserted have the ability to be shown in the 3D open position. That's just one of the features of the curtain wall tool. So to summarize, we've covered how to create the wall in 3D, how to adjust and clean up the curtain wall grid, how to insert doors, how to convert glazed panels to spandrel panels, and how to insert windows into the curtain wall system. I hope you found this helpful. We look forward to working with you in the future.